So you just got the dreaded warning that your 12 volt battery on your Tesla Model 3 or Y or Tesla in general needs to be replaced. Or even worse, your car won't start. Now what? I'm Frugal Tesla Guy and we're going to discuss what your options are. The biggest topic of discussion in the Tesla community is the battery, and in particular, concerns about degradation. But what tends to go under the radar is the 12 volt battery. That is until people start getting the alert that their 12 volt battery needs to be replaced. And for many is actually the first time they even realize the car even has a 12 volt battery. Well, I finally got the dreaded alert, but that alert came a day after I got into my car and it wouldn't start. Now I knew this day would come, but I was hoping to get more advanced notice. Now be sure to check out my entire experience in my previous video for more on that. For gas car owners that are handy, you can stop by your local auto parts store, pick up a new 12 volt battery and have it installed in minutes. And for those that aren't comfortable swapping out the 12 volt battery themselves, sometimes the local auto parts store might actually do it for you, or you could have a shop do it for you within 12 to 24 hours. Now in some cases it may take longer, but most likely there will be a local shop in town somewhere that will have an opening available. However, it's a different story if you have a Tesla. Until auto parts stores start keeping 12 volt batteries for Teslas in stock, you're pretty much at the mercy of Tesla. But many of us came to terms with that long ago. Now best case scenario, you live close to a service center and you can pick up a 12 volt battery there and swap it out on your own in less than 30 minutes. Now, this is, of course, only if you can actually drive your car. You may either need to have your car towed to a service center or make an appointment with mobile service, whichever one will get you your new 12 volt battery faster. Now, worst case scenario, you don't live close to a service center and you will either need to, number one, drive a long distance to get the battery, number two, have it towed to the nearest service center, or number three, schedule an appointment with mobile service. How long it will take with numbers two and three is all a matter of luck. Now for me personally, I live a little over an hour away to the nearest service center and wasn't able to get mobile service to my place for six days. Now in hindsight, I probably would have been okay, but it would have been white knuckle driving for six days, worried the 12 volt battery could fail at any time. Basically in situations like this, you just want it done as soon as possible. Now the good news is there is a third party option that can get you your new 12 volt battery in 24 to 48 hours via overnight shipping, but it won't be a Tesla OEM 12 volt battery. Instead, it will be a lithium battery manufactured by a company called Omu Batteries. So let's take a closer look at these two options more closely and we'll start with performance. Now the OEM 12 volt battery is expected to last on average between two to four years, give or take, depending on how many charge cycles your battery has gone through. For me, it was close to three years. Now also keep in mind, I have several aftermarket items attached to the 12 volt battery, like the auto frunk and trunk, along with the soft closing doors and self presenting door handles. But for some, their batteries have only lasted less than a year, but quite frankly, that's highly unusual. Now, according to Omu, their batteries are expected to last up to four times longer than the Tesla OEM battery. After contacting Omu, I was told it's not out of the question for it to last eight years based on a two year OEM average. Now, it is common for batteries to lose voltage during their lifespan. Now, when comparing the two, the Omu battery loses less as it ages, meaning there will be more power available during its lifespan with a big drop at the end. Another advantage Omu claims is you will be able to get more performance from your LED lights and sound quality improves due to the fact there is no voltage sag. Now, the Omu battery is expected to be more efficient for two reasons. Number one, it weighs about 60% less than that of the Tesla OEM battery. The Omu battery comes in at a little over 11 pounds while the OEM battery weighs about 28 pounds. The Omu battery is also more efficient because overall, it loses less energy during use. Now, most Tesla owners are aware of the efficiency loss of the main lithium battery, particularly during colder winter months. Now, that being said, the Omu battery has been tested under extreme conditions from temperatures as low as minus 94 degrees Fahrenheit 
and as high as 365 degrees Fahrenheit. And based on their testing, the OMU battery passed the test in extreme conditions. Now I know what you might be thinking at this point. This sounds a lot like an OMU battery ad, but I can assure you that I don't have any affiliation with OMU. In fact, I purchased my OMU battery directly from Test Bros at full price. I'm also not going to push the purchase of the OMU battery with any kind of discount code either. Which leads us to the next topic, price. There is a big difference in price between the two batteries. The quote I got from my local Tesla service center was $122 for parts and labor with mobile service and a one-year warranty on the battery. The battery alone is approximately $85. Now, both of those prices will most likely vary depending on where you live. Now, the OMU battery will set you back a whopping $439, but with a four-year warranty. Now, if you're still covered under your Tesla warranty, then the decision is a no-brainer. Stick with the OEM battery at no charge. But if you need to pay for it out of your own pocket, then it actually may still be a no-brainer for many. But let's take a look at the math. When comparing the price, the OMU battery actually pays itself off in 5.2 years. Anything you get out of it after that will actually be bonus. Now, that being said, on average, most people only keep their cars for about six years. So for some, this may be a moot point. Now, there may also be some hesitation to getting anything other than OEM, but considering the Model S and X refresh has a lithium 12 volt battery, it's most likely only a matter of time before the 3 and Y follow suit. In the end, it all comes down to what you can afford and what you're most comfortable with. Now, understandably, $439 is going to be way too much for many. And on top of that, it's not OEM, which can also make some people uncomfortable. Now, for those of you considering the OMU battery but haven't needed to replace your battery just yet, it actually might not be a bad idea to purchase it now and store it and keep it charged as OMU recommends, which is about every six months. That way, when you get the warning or your car won't start, you have the battery ready to go. So I'm curious what you all think. If you haven't needed to replace your battery just yet, which direction do you think you might go and why? Also, be sure to check out the other videos in this series discussing why your electric car even needs a 12 volt battery in the first place, what my experience was like once I got the warning, and my video to follow showing you how to swap out the battery yourself. Well, thank you all so much for watching, and you know the drill. Like, subscribe, and stay positively charged.